hello everyone uh, and welcome to this webinar. We're going to be talking about uh, turning data into dollars with analytics, specifically for lead gen today. That's going to be the main focus. Uh, before we really jump into things, I'd love to just give you an introduction into what we're going to be talking about. And that's going to start with an introduction to me, Isaac. Um, we're then going to talk a little bit about lead gen, what it means, who does it, why it's important. Um, why the analysis of your lead gen funnel is important, how it can empower you to succeed. We're also going to talk about how you can utilize all the data from all of your various lead generation platforms, whether that's paper, call, email, SMS. Um, we're then going to go into Everflow's analytics, the flex and dimensional reports that show you how to actually analyze this data and take that powerful information. And then we're going to show you what you can do with that new information and not just what you can do with it, but also some great tips for how you can make those actions a little bit more efficiently than you would have in the past, saving time and money. We're going to talk about Everflow Pay, um, one of our newer services that's offered that helps you pay out your partners as efficiently as possible, uh, keeping them happy and keeping you uh, successful. Uh, then we're going to talk about some upcoming webinars and events. Uh, and then finally, we're going to finish off with a question and answer. If you do have any questions, um, we do have a chat on the right side of your screen. Feel free to put any questions there at time during the presentation, um, and we'll answer them at the end. So first off, an introduction to myself. Um, if you haven't seen me in the last couple webinars, hi, my name is Isaac Mayer. Uh, I am a customer success manager with Everflow, and I've been in affiliate marketing for six years now. And like I was saying earlier, I'm based out of uh, sunny San Francisco, California, it's sunny today. Uh, fun fact about me, I actually have a pretty extensive history with lead generation myself. Uh, back in college, I was doing lead generation for a, I was actually an affiliate company, affiliate software company, um, pulling uh, contact information and information on uh, big YouTubers so that we could sell to them. Ended up starting a, a small lead uh, generation automation service. Um, and then also has moved through multiple sales positions in my career um, where I've uh, generated leads and reached out to those leads. So this is something that's been a big part of my life as well, this lead generation. Uh, fun fact number two, uh, I do love to cook. Shrimp scampi is my signature dish. Um, speaking of cooking, uh, let's cook up some data into dollars. So we're going to give you some great recipes to work with today. Uh, and we're going to discover some reports that improve your lead gen results. But first off, what is lead gen? Um, and, and who does this? Why is this important? You can see a few examples of Everflow clients below. We have Mutual of Omaha, JG Wentworth, First American Home Warranty, some very big recognizable names. Uh, and these companies, just like many others, make their money by generating leads that ultimately become paying customers. So they, they get these people's information in the door um, and then ultimately turn them into paying customers so that they can grow their business. Um, the main way that they get their information is through interest forms. So this will be uh, essentially a place where someone fills in, it might be their name, email, contact information, a few details about that. So ultimately, someone from that company can reach out to them and bring them on as a paying client or customer. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to build a funnel to get uh, these leads. And we're going to talk about uh, how to optimize that funnel and analysis of it in just a moment here. So why is that analysis of the funnel, essentially tracking the activity at every stage of the funnel so important? Well, really, you want to be tracking your leads from traffic source to approval. You want to know where people are coming from, uh, which of your ads, per se, are, are, are the most successful. And then you want to see where potentially people are dropping off in the service, where things can be optimized. You want to really get rid of any bottlenecks and make things as efficient as possible. Um, we want to also be able to consolidate data from your lead generation platforms. Um, a lot of these services, like the ones I mentioned, uh, might be using paper, call, SMS, um, email. We want to get all that information in one place so you can see it all together and judge it against each other. Um, this way you can analyze, uh, you can also analyze your more granular data without, uh, without spreadsheets um, by using a powerful tool such as Everflow. You can use our tools to analyze this data um, and compare uh, data from one platform against another. Uh, and like I'll show you, we can break down by uh, really uh, pretty much any factor you want, um, countries, devices, and anything you can put into a, a sub one through five value. Um, ultimately, this allows you to easily allocate funds to what drives revenue. And we'll talk about some great tips to do that down the uh, line in this presentation as well. 
Ultimately, the goal here is growing your bottom line. So the first thing that we'll talk about today is utilizing all of your data. Uh, so if you're uh, like any of the lead gen uh, companies that I mentioned before, um, you're likely using things such as paper call with Invoke and Ringba, uh, email and SMS uh, with Clavio. Uh, you might be using a lead management uh, system with something like Lead Prosper. Um, and you also might be using CRMs with Salesforce and HubSpot. You have all this different information, but when it's uh, segmented into all these different uh, platforms, it's really hard to actually analysis or uh, analyze them all in, uh, in the, together. So essentially, uh, Everflow offers either integrations for all of these services or um, uh, articles to show you how to integrate with them. Um, this is something that if you do have any trouble with, you can always reach out to our customer success team. We'd be more than glad to help you. Um, we do take integrations pretty seriously and we take feature requests pretty seriously. Um, so if there, once again, if there is something that you don't have, reach out to us and we can make it happen. So I'm gonna sh uh, share my screen really quickly and show you kind of what this looks like. Okay. So let's... Right there. Okay. So here you can actually see the Everflow dashboard and you can see some of the integrations here. So here's some CRMs, pay per, per call. And it's pretty easy. Essentially, all you do is go from control center to integrations manage, and then you can set them all up here. So it's like media buying as well. So let me stop sharing and get back to this presentation. One moment. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about what to do once you have this data. So you have all your integration set up, you're bringing all your data into Everflow. Um, how do you actually analyze it? And how do you do it in a way that's a lot better than a spreadsheet? Uh, so with Everflow, we offer flex and dimensional reporting, and I'm going to show you those. Flex allows you to uh, build a custom report with your uh, desired columns and metrics to granularly, granularly slice and dice your data however you like. Uh, dimensional al allows you to pivot around multiple metrics in one view. And I'm going to show you what this is and why it's important. So just one moment. And we're going to start with the flex report. So as you can see here on my Everflow dashboard, I've built out custom columns uh, for my offer, partner, country, and device brand. I can go through here and see exactly how each offer for each partner is performing. Um, one of the most useful things that I personally like is that you can sort by whatever factor you like. In this case, I've chosen revenue. So we can see who's producing the most results who's producing most revenue. And you can do this for any of these columns. And depending on the, the data that you want to check, um, you can check, uh, let's see, uh, pretty much any different factor you'd like up here, um, whether it's your partner, partner ID, um, device, geo. Um, we give you essentially all the options we can, uh, you need to slice and dice this data uh, as, as best you can. So I'm going to show you dimensional now. All right, so dimensional is really unique because you can look at uh, essentially the performance of uh, whatever setup you have based around one factor. In this case, I want to see how everything in the United States is performing. So I can see my top performing offers, once again, changing the direction of, of uh, lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Uh, I can see the performance of my offers in the United States. I can see my uh, performance of partners in the United States. And I can see my uh, essentially my performance of each country against each other. So by doing this, and we'll talk more about this later, you could put more funds into the country's uh, offers or partners that are succeeding. Okay, so let's talk about how to actually do that. Okay, so you found this information, you found what's working, now it's time to actually implement these changes. And 
um, especially when I think about my history in affiliate marketing, whether it's on on my website or or just in various positions in the past, um, I've de I've been met with the challenge of um, I guess like seeing challenges, but not exactly knowing the best way to implement them, or um, essentially finding that it's it's very difficult to implement them, or or it can be just a process that involves a lot of steps. Luckily, this is not the case with Everflow, and we've made it super easy. So. While you can definitely change your creatives, um, the the countries that you're working in um, with this information, we do have some really great uh, avenues for making these changes without additional effort. And I'm gonna show you one of those right now. Oops, okay, here we go. And we're gonna check out an offer report. So this is just a standard offer report. We can see the performance of an offer um, over a, a certain period of time that we've chosen here. Um, and in this case, um, we're, we're seeing that certain offers are producing more revenue and, and certain aren't. So if this offer, for instance, is producing more revenue, um, we can go in and actually make an edit right here. We can add a, a custom revenue and payout directly from this report, directly from where we're seeing the information um, and we can set up custom payouts, however we like, uh, custom revenue, however we like, and apply it to whatever partners we like. Uh, and we can do this based on uh, various targeting variables and products. So essentially what this allows you to do is to actually make these changes directly from the report. So something else that I'd like to talk about uh, is our smart switch. So just one moment. Okay. Okay. So let's check out a smart switch. So let's say you know uh, essentially what rules you want to use to decide if, uh, let's say an offer should be disabled, uh, if an offer um, should essentially have uh, your, here, sorry, one moment. if your offer should uh, yeah go in active or inactive, um, you can set a smart switch. So a smart switch allows you to set rules about unacceptable traffic um, and have your system automatically block, uh, send to fail traffic, um, or, or notify you accordingly. Um, so this is a powerful tool for automation um, that, that really pauses uh, or forwards traffic based on your target KPI goals uh, defined by your chosen rules and metrics. So just another further step uh, for automation. If you know what you want, um, you can spend a little bit more work up front and it's really not that much to set something up that automates this process going forward. Um, so here you can see a rule that we've set up um, you can do it for specific offers. Um, you can go off of whatever variable you like. And since we offer sub one through sub five, you can really plug in whatever you like. Uh, choose the action, whether it's notify block or fail traffic. Um, you can set custom rules uh, for thresholds. So that's essentially just managing your KPI. Um, and then there's additional options for if you want to uh, set an exclusion. So the last thing that I'm gonna mention today um, while we're talking about actually making these changes um, and creating some more efficiencies is alerts. So with alerts, you can essentially have someone or uh, have our service alert you uh, when a certain condition has been met. So you can see if uh, certain clicks are being generated uh, or essentially whatever KPI um, you've decided has been met. Um, and we can just check this out right here. So you can do this based off of uh, uh, cost per click, um, impressions. Uh, really, we give you the freedom to use whatever you like. Uh, and this way you're setting alerts uh, when when there's uh, certain types of performance that you want to track. Okay.
So that was going through some more of the uh, the actual analysis and reporting, how to set that up. Um, once you have your partners and you have these system setups, you have to pay them. Um, you want to do this in a way that's as efficient as possible, making them happy and uh, essentially motivating them to drive more results. Um, Everflow Pay, one of our newer services, allows you to automatically generate invoices and pay for your partners. Um, it is the only payment authored, uh, method offered uh, that is automated at the partner signup. Um, and it's also the only payment method that shows a warning bar on the partner's dashboard with the link directly to input their billing inf information if they don't have it in. Um, ultimately, this will save you time in setting up your partner billing method, uh, your partner's billing method, uh, and chasing down partners to input their information. Uh, this creates a seamless partner payments onboarding experience. Um, if you do have any questions about Everflow Pay or if you're interested, uh, please reach out to pay.help at everflow.io uh, or the chat to reach a customer success uh, representative. We'll be more than glad to talk to you. Um, so talking about some upcoming webinars. So we do, uh, we're going to be talking about Everflow Pay and handling taxes, just some, some new cap tax capabilities for Everflow Pay. We're going to be talking about coupon code upgrades, which are coming soon. Um, and then we're going to talk about traffic sources, how to use them and why they're important. Um, we'll post these notifications for these webinars on your dashboard, so you'll see them there. Uh, what's next? Where in the world is Everflow? Um, so you can find us at Affiliate World Dubai on February 28th and 29th. That's coming up. If you're in the area, please say hi. Uh, you can find us at Performance Marketing World uh, in London in the UK. That's March 5th and 6th. And then we're going to be at MarTech Summit Berlin, and you guessed it, Berlin, on March 6th. However, uh, we also have the Everflow Connect Roadshow coming up. Uh, this is going to be in Santa Monica down in Southern California on February 29th and March 1st. February 29th, we're going to be doing one-on-ones. So if you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with a team member, we'd be more than glad to chat with you. March 1st, we're going to be doing some workshops um, and a happy hour. Um, so please join us for that. Um, and you can reach out to support, um, essentially, your customer success representatives um, for the RSVP. And we'd love to see you there. So thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if you do have any questions, please let me know. We have answers. Um, and then, as always, our customer success team is always here and available for one-on-one -on -one questions and feedback.